Dependency injection is simply a technique where objects are given dependencies rather than creating those dependencies themselves. Let's go through a very simple app to understand this concept. I created a new application in Android Studio and updated the activities view to have a text view and two buttons. The text view will display a current count value and the two buttons will be used to either add to the count or subtract from it. We have a counter interface that has increment, decrement, and get count functions, and then an implementation of that called single step counter that just increases or decreases the count by one at a time. We're going to use a small view model class to handle coordinating the button clicks as well as dispatching updates to the count value back to the activity. We'll add a callback that the activity can set in the view model in order to get updates when the count changes. This will be a function that has an integer value argument and returns nothing. Using a custom setter, we'll call the function immediately with the current count value. We'll also add function calls after each button click is handled to dispatch the new counter value. Next, let's wire up the view model with the activity. We'll create a new instance of the view model in the activity. The click listeners on each button will call the related view model function and the text view will be updated with the value of the view model count update callback function. Now when we run the app, we see that it acts as we expect. Next, we'll change our view model to use dependency injection.